Hey there, it's Jen and this is The Crazy Wonderful Life. I'm sitting outside. I just um, had lunch and then I spray painted a couple of um, mirrors and a, like a planter pot because I'm, as I'm recycling all of the things that we had before. I'm just spray painting them different colors. If you are new, we painted our living room and um, up, like going up the stairs, the walls going up the stairs and in the upstairs hallway and also our dining room. And I did a light gray and white trim. And we sanded all of the wood and painted that white as well so now like i said i'm using all of the things that we had before we did buy some new things but um and i am repainting them repurposing them so um they will match match the paint and the decor theme that i have going on so let me show you these so these are two mirrors that i've had since i moved out of my parents house so I've got those, they were like a dark brown and I spray painted those black and it's gonna be a matte black when it dries. And then I spray painted this planter box, which I've had since probably, for probably like 12 years, um, since I moved into this house or not long after. Um, so this is just a planter box. It does have a little texture on it. It was tin and I spray painted it um, a chalk white. So I have one more thing to spray paint and then I will be um, done spray painting and then I can move on to craft because I have a couple of things I wanted to make also. So and I'll be doing videos on those. But um, yeah, that's going to be my afternoon. And <laughs> I also want to hang some things on the wall as well. I'm hanging this family frame in the hallway um, upstairs and I'm terrible at painting things so I just used painters tape marked where I put it on the back of the frame and marked where I wanted to have the hooks and I'm going to hang it on the wall. So this is how I hang things. I put the painters tape on the wall and then I put the little hooks above the marks that I made and here we go but i must say that it is not centered with my laundry chute but that's okay that's how it's gonna stay it looks okay if you don't look down at the laundry chute so this sign the hello welcome wi-fi password is part is from the dollar tree i bought a white frame took off the backing took out the glass and glued the Dollar Tree sign inside of it and then used a little uh, twine on the back to hang it and put it in my front entryway and I'm loving it. I took a little break from the redecorating to make some macaroni and cheese uh, as a side for dinner. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just stirring like the cheese sauce mixture that I make and it's um, butter, flour, and uh, milk and of course um, cheddar cheese and it's sharp cheddar so i came outside to check on the boys because they are building this hoop we got them a new basketball hoop because theirs was super old it had to be like 12 years old <laughs> While the boys are building the basketball hoop and um, our youngest is at school and the other kids are doing their virtual classes in their rooms, I decided that I would spray paint this to put back onto the wall. And I also did my shopping list this morning. So I want to go ahead and place the order so that's what I'm going to be doing now and there's Miss Shelby sitting on the couch so we ate dinner and this is the aftermath of dinner because I also made some potato and egg casserole uh, just using the potatoes the squared um, hash browns and egg and I cooked it in the oven you can and then um, I just 
put it in a bowl when it, when it was done. You can also like cut them into um, square shapes as well. I So now I have to unload the dishwasher, load it back up, wipe down the counters, sweep and vacuum. And of course, I need to scrub that pan back there, which I'm not looking forward to doing, but uh, I'm going to do that. I'll just let it soak and then it'll be fine. So I'm going to clean this up and then um, I'm not sure. I think I'm going to sh give you guys like a tour, show you the things that I have made um, using Dollar Tree products for uh, decorating our house. So I wanted to show you some befores and afters also. And this is the living room before we painted. We had already sanded down the wood and started taping. But yes, this is the living room before. So this is the dining room before and you can see we have the ladder. We started taping. We already sanded down the wood. So things are looking a mess in the dining room. But this is the before of our dining room. So I showed you what the befores looked like of the living room and dining room. So now I'm just gonna show you some of the crafts that I made and some of the decor that I got from the Dollar Tree um, to decorate and keep costs low because you can definitely do it because I did it and I'm loving it. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. And then after I show you all that, I will show you the afters of the living room and the dining room. Okay. so. I made, we're gonna start with this uh, built-in cabinet here, but I made this and I do have a video that I'll link in the description box below for that. It's just um, one of the plastic planters from Dollar Tree, um, some black ribbon from Dollar Tree and some like a twine um, string from Dollar Tree and I made bows with those. And also the artificial flowers from Dollar Tree as well. And I got this XOXO sign from Dollar Tree a few years ago. So I made this from Dollar Tree, this um, little tray, and I just used a clay pot, which I spray painted black, and also a pie tin from Dollar Tree, and I spray painted that black. And the camera is from Dollar Tree, and also this Keep Life Simple um, little porcelain. It's like a por it's like a porcelain brick or not a brick a block, and that's from Dollar Tree as well. Okay, so up here this home sign you've probably seen me haul. Um, it is from this year's Valentine's collection, so I just keep it up because it doesn't have to be for Valentine's Day. But this tiered tray I made from Dollar Tree, and also this picture frame. This is from the Dollar Tree also, that tall candle. And then I just wrapped um, the black and white Dollar Tree ribbon around it because I just wanted to give some height to this candle holder. So I thought um, that would be perfect. And I really like the way it looks. And I do have to go to the Dollar Tree and get some votives, some glass votives. I need three there. And I'm also going to get the little, um, the little um, tea lights, the battery operated ones to put inside there. And you can't really see, uh, but up here, I put the rest of this, cause it used to have the three pieces, the one that I just showed you in the fireplace and these two, and they were all connected by hinges, but the third, that third piece broke off, but it fits perfectly in here. I know, I'm sorry about the glare. And I'm going to get votives for that in the battery operated tea lights for that as well because it'll look super pretty at night with the light, the candles lit. And this right here, this um, was from the Dollar Tree also. And you may have noticed I had one on the, which I forgot to mention, I had it on the built-in cabinet. But it's from the Dollar Tree as well. And um, they were... 
small, they were called woven rugs, but I'm not using them as rugs because they're so small. I am actually using them um, on my table and my cabinet. So that's from Dollar Tree also. So I just, I wanted, I knew I could decorate, redecorate the house after we painted, um, you know, for less than it would if I went to all the name brand stores and bought things. I mean, I have gone and bought a few things here and there, but um, I'm, this is the stuff that I bought from Dollar Tree and I'm decorating and crafting, um, making things for, for the house as well. And over here, this is not done yet, obviously, I'm because I'm debating on whether or not to spray paint this shelf white. Um, so I'm really not sure what to do with it, but I'm going to leave the books, no matter what color it is, on this shelf. Um, and all of these books are from the Dollar Tree. I have hauled them. Um, and I'm hoping to read them this summer, but that's where I'm gonna keep those. I needed to make some room in my closet and just thought that it would, once I get everything here, that it would look good there. Okay, so now that I showed you the Dollar Tree crafts that I made and um, the decor that I'm using from Dollar Tree, I wanted to show you uh, what the after looks like of the, both the living room and the dining room. Um, you'll see our stairs in some of the clips. Um, you may have seen them in the previous clips. They are they have paint dripped all over them. They're not done, but I will be painting those gray and white. But I'm not gonna um, I'm not doing it just yet. But I um, I will show you guys what that looks like eventually when it gets done. But let's take a look at the after. So here is the living room. There's Miss Shelby sleeping on the couch, and don't mind my dish. And this is the dining room. I added the greenery in here. And eventually I'm going to get um, the taller battery operated candles. And I have this gray tablecloth, but I take it off because I don't want the kids eating. They just ate lunch on it and breakfast. So I, when I get up in the morning, I take it off the table so they can just sit down and eat because I don't want anything spilled on it right now and the um the valance right there sorry for the glare again i got from um from family dollar they were five dollars so i've got two there and then i have the one on the window um the window right at the landing in the living room so next we'll be tackling the kitchen see i do need i do need something here on these two walls as well so like I said it's a work in progress and we will be um we will be tackling the kitchen we were debating on whether or not we wanted to hire somebody to paint it but we decided that we, we want we're trying to do it ourselves to keep the costs low so that is it and there's Miss Shelby so this is what it looks like so far and so I am going to go clean the bathroom. So I'm gonna go clean the bathroom and dust everything um, and mop the floors, do my weekly cleaning because it is Friday and um, I wanna get that done so I can just relax on the weekend and I don't have to uh, do everything all in a two days span, so. That's what I'm going to do. I hope you enjoy your Friday and I will talk to you next time. Bye. 
Thanks for watching. And if you're new, please consider subscribing and hitting the little bell notification so you're notified every time I upload a video. And also if you could like and comment as well, that really helps out my channel. So I hope you all have a great day and I will see you in the next video.